the behavior panel. All right. Well, right now we're going to do something new. We're just going to take a short video. And it's a famous person. And we're going to take a look at it and let you know what we think of this person as being uh, honest or deceptive. Mark? Okay, so we've got George Clooney talking recently about the idea that he uses uh, Floby, one of those uh, uh, vacuum cutters from, I think, the 1970s or certainly 1980s, to cut his uh, beautiful hair. So let's have a look at that, and then let's tell you what we see. Let's watch the video. You've been cutting your own hair? Mm -hmm. I've been cutting my own hair for 25 years. So it has nothing to do with quarantine? No. Nah. Look, I have my hair is like really like straw, you know, and so it's easy to cut. You can't really make too many mistakes. So years ago, uh, I bought a, a thing called a Floby, which when we you were did kids, not. when I was a kid, yeah. The infomercial, the yeah, Floby. This ingenious device lets you give yourself and family perfect haircuts every time. Yes. It comes with a vacuum cleaner yes. and the clippers. Yeah, I still have it. Stop it. You don't I, use it. My haircuts take literally two minutes. I go, is, is, th th is this Floby? Yeah, it's Floby. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, listen, man, it works. <laughs> now, you know, I wouldn't do it to my wife. All right. Uh, Greg, you want to go first? Sure. I, uh, this is what I call lying for sport. You're doing it for your own entertainment and for the entertainment of the person across from you. Do I believe he cuts his hair every week with Floby? No. Do I think he maybe did it one time as a whatever yeah maybe he's done it a couple of times but i see that engagement that paying attention looking to see if we've made a connection and doing it for entertainment i i always call it lying for sport because it's not harming anyone it is entertainment for the person and it personalizes you more than you would be otherwise it's it's him entertaining someone chase what do you got we have some eye accessing during the entire sentence when he's saying i've been doing it for 25 years not when he's trying to recall, you know, I've been cutting my hair for uh, 25 years or so. That's when you would see the eye accessing. It wouldn't look like this. I've been cutting my hair for uh, 20, the past 25 years. That's him thinking, should I do this? Should I do it? And that's what we're seeing right there. Next we have when he gestures, yeah, I've still got it. He gestures to his house and the hand falls back really quick. Think if you're talking to somebody and you said, yeah, I've, I've still got it in the house. Your hand, Our hands all stay up. And this is cross-culturally. I've seen this in the Middle East. I've seen it in Europe. Our hands stay up when we're pointing somewhere. And it's almost as if like, yeah, it's over there, but don't think about it being in there. I'm not going to go get it and show anybody. So the hand falls pretty quick. And then at the very end, his words are softened, lacking endings. So when he says it's the flow beat, he didn't say that. It's just a jumble of sound. And then he says, Floby. That's what it is. So if I can just mix these words up, it's a lot easier to lie because I didn't really say that it was the Floby that cut my hair for the past 25 years. I just said, eh, Floby. <laughs> just skip over the, the rest of the sentence. Uh, Scott, what do you got? All right. I think I agree. I, I think he's I think he's got a Floby. I think he uses it every now and then. So I think we're seeing a mixture of, of, of truth and lies because he, he's a cool guy. Everybody likes this guy. Yeah. You know, he's a great actor. He's one of my favorites. But, but I think we're seeing a 50-50 there. I, I agree with you, Greg. I think he's used it, but he doesn't use it all the time. I bet when the COVID hit, I bet he was in the house using that dang thing all the time. So that may be true on that part. And I hate to say this because I'm always talking about how bad my hair, hair looks all the time. It looks like I cut it, but I don't have a flow bee. But his hair looks pretty cool to be flow bead, I think. So I don't know if I just got mine involves a cutter and a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> there you go. So I don't know if I got that sheen because I like the guy or what, but it's still, but I think it's 50 50. I think he, he also has pros do it. And of course, when he's doing a movie or something, they're going to do it. So I, th I think maybe it's, it's, I think he does have it. The only thing that bothered me when he says it comes with a vacuum cleaner and a little thing like that, because it didn't come with a vacuum cleaner. You attach it to your vacuum cleaner. That was the thing. So that's the only part that, that bothered me about that. That's what me, makes me think it's a 50-50 thing. So I think it sounded cool when he got into it. And I agree with Chase. He got into it going, am I, gonna, am I going? I'm going to go to the wall with this thing. I'm going. I'm going. And then he just he went on in, man. He said, I'm doing it. Kicked the door and he went on in. So I, I think that's the part. I think it's, it's sort of the 50-50 thing. I think he's telling the truth, but at the same time being just a touch deceptive. Because I know it's George Clooney, but man, your, your hair can't look that cool with a flow bee, I don't think. You know, I think they'd still be selling it if they did, if it did. Well, they still sell or, it. 
I sent it to my barber oh. and she said, that's not a Floby. Oh. And you guys have seen, I think I've FaceTimed you guys while I was getting a haircut here in yeah. my, my office. And she said, no, it's, it's perfectly cut around the ears. It's perfectly cut to an exact you know, measurement. When he turns his head, you can see there's a, a, a good line there. Hard to do by yourself, according to her, but I don't know. I've never cut my own hair. There you go. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, so there's a lot of data there that suggests he doesn't cut his own hair. So what's really going on here? I would say what we've got here is chaff, redirect, and resume statement, okay? So <laughs> here's, here's what I think is really going on here. When people start talking about his hair, <laughs> there is a suspicion that it might not even be his own hair. So what are you going to do when hair is brought up? Chaff and redirect. Let's talk about flobies. Let's talk about some weird contraption from the 70s, 80s, because now you've got a picture in your head of George Clooney doing his own hair with this bizarre contraption. You don't have an idea in your head of, but is it actually his hair? Notice where he shows you his hair. He goes round the sides. He doesn't go to the thick head of hair on the top of his head at all. I suggest this is chaff, redirect, and then the resume statement, which is, uh, you know, I got this really uh, strawy hair. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to cut it. It's like, I've got the greatest hair in the world. And then the resume statement right in the at the end of, I wouldn't do it on my wife. <laughs> well, no, obviously you would not force your wife to have a haircut with a floby that she didn't want, but now you've mentioned it, what a brilliant person you are for women's rights, for suggesting how you wouldn't do it to your wife. So again, it's just a redirect of, it's lovely George Clooney, who doesn't force his wife to have haircuts she doesn't want. What a lovely guy. Classic case for me of chaff and redirect and resume statement. There's something there I would suggest he's hiding about his hair in general, possibly, maybe, I would say, because he probably has some pretty severe lawyers. All right. Well, let's throw it around the room, see, see what everybody's got, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Greg, you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down, life or sport. All right. Chase, what do you got? Thumbs down. All right. Mark, what do you got? It's thumbs down. There's something else going on there. All right. I'm going to go in the middle. I, like I said before, I think he's, he's a little bit of both, a little bit of both. All right. Well, if you like our videos, be sure and subscribe. Just click that little red button down there near next to Mark and hit the little bell. That way you'll know when we have a new one come out. We good? Yeah. Uh, one more thing. I don't know a lot about YouTube. Mark is obsessed with these metrics and algorithms and, and how people do stuff. Mark has shared something in our WhatsApp group a couple of days ago. If you're watching this right now, there's a 3.7% chance that you're subscribed to the channel. That's so sad. We try to put out some really cool stuff for you guys. So please consider subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, click the button down there. It helps you. We give you a lot of good information and it also helps us. It helps our channel grow. And thank you very much. All right. Excellent. See you next time. Bye now. <laughs>